Hello and welcome to another new video. This is only a short video this time. I'm going to show you some of the modelling tools I've managed to pick up from the big supermarkets, namely Aldi and Lidl. With the cost of living skyrocketing, it's always nice to get some cheap bits to model with. First of all, I'm going to start with these Parkside multi-tool parts. I've got four different varieties here that Lidl's stock. First off, we've got this wire nylon brush set. And these fit into my Dremel chucks with no problem at all. This is a multi-purpose set. Got drill bits and cutting discs and a sanding wheel in there. And these retail about three pounds a packet. These are perfectly compatible with the Dremel, as I said. And anybody that watched Trash to Track episode where I did the Hornby Dublo crane, it was these brass brushes in here that I used to polish up the metal parts after I'd stripped the paint. They do a variety of different packs, as I've said, there's a multi-purpose pack, a wire brush pack, this grinding and cutting disc pack, which is handy when you're laying your track and cutting it to size, and a felt polishing disc pack. I'm unsure if I'm ever going to use this one, but I just got a couple of each pack just to tide me over for the next year or so. They may be cheap, but I've found they're very reliable and very good, and they fit in the Dremel, and they are a hell of a lot cheaper than proper Dremel branded parts. And these, as I said, are all available from Lidl's. One thing I will say that is if you are planning on going out to these supermarkets to buy this sort of stuff, check before you go as they don't always have them in stock. Next up, I bought some of these ceiling washer packs. Again, this was £3. And the reason I bought these is because I've got a harbour on my layout and I want some tyres. I thought these were ideal. These here are ideal rubber tyre size for OO gauge model railways. They are a lot cheaper than buying spare tyres from Oxford Diecast and the like, and I can always keep the other O-rings in my toolbox in case I ever need them around the house. They did a wide variety of different things in these packs. There was washers, there were, um, rivets, and I also bought some heat shrink tubing. Um, this heat shrink tubing is very handy. It shrinks down to about 0.5mm. Um, the only reason it's in a plastic takeaway tub is that I actually knocked this off the workbench just prior to filming and it went everywhere and I wasn't willing to uh, sort it all back out into these little plastic containers so I kept the thin um, heat shrink that I'm going to use every day handy and the rest was stored in another tub with a lid on and as you can see there's approximately 1500 parts in there so it's well worth the money and it, again it's cheaper than buying it elsewhere. The next thing I found was this hand drill set that came with a pin vise and a vise for drilling in. I've not actually looked at this yet, so let's open the box up and see what we get inside. Just cutting the tape there with my standing knife, we'll open this up and see what comes with this set. Well, the first thing we can see is this handy packet of small drill bits from two to three millimeters, all color coded with their sizes and they will come in handy as uh, I do a lot of scratch building in plastic art. And then a pack of fine drill bits like this. This is excellent. These sort of drill bits from a mainstream modeling company would cost quite a lot of money. This whole thing cost me about six pounds. So I'm very happy with the quality of this so far. There are some other bits and pieces in the box. There's some securing nuts for these vice grips. And there's also the small pin vise in the bottom there, which is handy for using the small drill bits when drilling into plastic art, etc. I will use this quite often as, as I said, I do a lot of work in plastic art, and at six pounds, this really was a bargain. Some people might not like the Parkside range, but I've used it for years and I've never ever had an issue with it. It always seems to be good quality stuff, and it is, as I said, very, very reasonably priced. Here in the instruction manual, you can see what drill bits you get and some instructions on how to use the pin vise, the little vise, etc. And it all comes neatly in this box. It's a metal die cast vise and it is quite heavy and as you can see there it's quite stiffly tightened up. But it looks to be good quality and I look forward to using it in the future. Now these really were an excellent find next. These micro drill sets I found in Lidl just last week in a Lincolnshire branch 
and I've now got drill bits that go from 0.5 up to 3.1 millimeters. Let's crack these open and have a look because I'm sure they're pretty much the same as the set that came with the hand um, drill and vice set we just saw. But as I've only just bought these, I want to have a quick look. Again, they come in this handy plastic case and once it's opened up, they present out like that and they really are very neat and very nice. That is a very, very sharp drill bit and it looks to be very well made. These are hand drill bits that you use finger pressure to go through plastic card etc these hand drill packs were five pounds each and they were in Lidl's just last week it is worth noting that Lidl's changed their tool range on a weekly basis so they may not necessarily have these types of things in every week just having a look at the other drill bits now and they all look to be of the same quality this one is the larger set the two to three millimeter one and then I've got a 1.1 to 2.1 millimeter set in this pack so now for the sake of 15 quid i've got drill bits that range from 0.3 millimeters all the way up to 3.1 and they're all in these handy presentation packs good value for money and very well made the next thing i found was this helping hand led magnifier this again, a Parkside range from Lidl, was about £8 and has a built-in soldering iron stand which could come in extremely handy as I do do a lot of hard wiring of digital chips into older locomotives. Opening up the box we'll have a quick look at what we get in here. It does look like it needs a small amount of assembly before it will be ready to use. That's the base and that is quite a heavy base with a die cast metal bottom there and the magnifier is in that white box. This is the magnifying head and then there is a built in LED light just there and it takes three AAA batteries. The magnification on the magnifying glass itself is very good and there's even a smaller part where you can look really close up for more detailed and intricate work. I'm going to pop some batteries in this now and see if that LED light works. As you can see, it does magnify that barcode on that paintbrush quite well. Right, now I've fitted three AAA batteries to it, I'll give the LED light a quick test. And that is surprisingly bright. I'm really happy with this as a purchase and it will come in very handy in the future. The battery case is a simple clip fit and then it's all secured in there. Once I can get the battery removal tag to sit in as it should do, that is. Now the batteries are fitted, the two powerful LEDs, as you can see there, do make a big difference. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. I do like this uh, thing, and it is mag the magnification is really quite good. What I didn't know was that when I got the rest of the instructions out of the box, it actually came with its own three batteries, which is typical, as I'd just been inside and found three of my own. So it's something worth noting. There's also a metal base there just to steady the high, heavy die cast base that goes on and the screws are provided to attach that to each other. Right, now that's assembled and away on the workbench, I'm going to show you this storage compartment that I managed to pick up from Aldi. This is a multi-drawer storage compartment with clear drawers and as I said come from Aldi and retailed at about £9. It is easily mountable on a wall as it's got these screw holes in the back and I already have two of these on my workbench and I keep my modelling spares in them. It is an extremely handy piece of kit to have. This is the one that I've already got and as you can see it's listed with all my railway and modelling spares. You've got brake pipes, brushes, motor cogs, steam details, you name it and I've got it mainly in these um, storage tubs. I can't overestimate how much I use this. They also come in this configuration with the big yellow drawers on either side. This is handy for storing things like knives and files. I plan to use this third one to replace these smaller drawers that I've got screwed onto the workbench side just there. As I said, it is very good value for money as a 
similar thing like this from B&Q would retail for about £20 and this was £8.99 and they are in stock quite often. Whilst in Aldi I also managed to pick up one of these. It is a powder fire extinguisher and this was £10 and it comes with a stand that you can screw onto the wall or onto your workbench legs. As I do a lot of work in the workshop um, with hot items like soldering irons, there's methylated spirits and various thinners etc. I think it's worth having one of these just in case the worst happens. It's better to be prepared and then be able to put any small fire out than not be and watch your precious collection or your precious workshop burn to the ground. This is the stand it comes with and I've screwed it to one of my baseboard legs so it's next to my workbench and the fire extinguisher simply just clips in there and is at the ready should anything ever go amiss. Thank you for watching this short video on the uh, various modelling tools that I found in Aldi and Lidl. I hope you do find some of your own if you venture out and have a look but uh, what I've spent here I think is a very good value for money and it keeps the cost of modelling down. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and there'll be more content soon as as you can see in the bottom left there the next Trash to Track episode is in production but at the moment it's top secret so you'll just have to wait and see what that is in an upcoming video. Thanks again, happy modelling and I'll see you in the next video. So you actually get batteries with it, that was worth going in and getting some. Very good for the money, I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that, and Marty would say.